your local weather with the KX Storm Team. This is Paul Dewal Malavay from Surrey. Hey Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, as, as I teased him last hour, I think Paul's a little camera shy, but he did the anthills, and that's something that, you know, we, I talked about a couple weeks ago, uh, you know, when the anthills start all showing up all of a sudden, uh, there's likely rain on the way, you know, the ants don't want to drown, right? But thank you for that, hey, Tom. Uh, the skies are already clearing up a little bit in the uh, north central. Temperatures are mid to upper 70s, most locations, around 80 degrees in Bismarck. The wind is roughly 5 to 15 miles an hour, so just kind of a normal North Dakota day that hasn't been very humid. Good. Dew points 40s and maybe some low 50s, so it's actually very comfortable outside. Unfortunately, humidity is really going to be on the increase. In fact, by Thursday morning, so today's only Tuesday, but by Thursday morning, we'll probably see the uh, dew points in the mid 50s, maybe some 60s in the south. So that's when you're going to start feeling the dew points. It's also fuel should thunderstorms develop. But that's Thursday morning. By Thursday night and Friday, some of these dew points could be in the 60s. Uh, here, here we are in the 50s and mid 60s in the south central. And once we get into Friday, look at this. Now we're talking about 60 to nearly 70 degrees for the dew points. That is going to be very uncomfortable on Friday. And again, should thunderstorms develop, uh, we're talking about a lot of fuel. Now, this is potential energy for storm, and storms tonight, we really don't have any. By tomorrow night, just a little bit, and if there's a margin, there is a marginal risk, but it's the south central, south of I-94, that's where that little bit of green is. So that's Wednesday, but look at Thursday afternoon. Now we're starting to get some in Montana, and, and northern Montana is under a mar uh, slight risk for severe weather uh, with this type of energy. And then that's Thursday. Now look at Friday. Look how much red and how far north West is, is pushing. That's extreme energy for thunderstorms. Doesn't guarantee a storm by any stretch, but it's a very important ingredient, having all that energy in the atmosphere. And then even Friday night after midnight, we're still talking about a lot of energy, extreme energy in the atmosphere. Again, that doesn't mean there's going to be a thunderstorm, but should a thunderstorm develop, now we're probably talking about with dew points in the 60s and 70s, some really big storms, unfortunately. The other thing that's going to be going on at the very same time is we're going to have a bit of an atmospheric cap. And that's like the opposite of the energy. This actually tries to stop storms, and it happens in North Dakota all the time. And uh, the way they know what's, what's going to happen, well, computer models project it, but also they send the weather balloons up and sample the atmosphere. And what we're thinking is that uh, the temperature, and this is not an actual temperature, this is just for illustration purposes, but warm air will continue to rise as long as it's warmer than the air around it. And when that happens, it's an uncapped atmosphere. Warm air freely rises, and you can easily get thunderstorms. Now, not necessarily uh, big storms, but you can get thunderstorms pretty easily as long as it's not capped. Now, when it's capped, sometimes the cap can hold for a while. It gets to be really explosive, and then we get huge storms, and, and that happens. And sometimes the cap holds, and we get nothing but sunshine. But it looks like by Friday, we're going to see the temperature at around 9,000 feet be warmer than the air below it. If that happens, that could stop thunderstorms for a lot of folks. Around the edge where that inversion is, that's where the thunderstorms could be, and it appears right now northern North Dakota has the best bet for thunderstorms kind of on the edge of that uh, warm air in the atmosphere. Now, the next 72 hours for Dickinson, pretty low odds, but it's getting hotter. And for Williston, notice how it's getting hotter and higher odds for thunderstorms, kind of near that edge of the uh, cap in the atmosphere. Forecast lows tonight will be in the 50s. Daytime highs tomorrow should be in the 80s. Won't be terribly humid. And as we check out the next seven days, uh, it may cool off a little bit on Friday. That may be because of cloud cover and things like that, but it is going to be humid. And it's especially late in the weekend, it is going to be hot. Severe weather certainly is going to be possible this weekend.